the pillows are uh, like a family or like an ecology and uh, they are always communicating to one another. And uh, the way that they communicate to one another is actually through two kinds of interactions. One of them is, is touch. Each of them has um, this, a touch surface. And the second way they communicate to one another is through movement. They have accelerometers in them. So when, they're, um, when they are sensing from the outside world, they will, um, the, the, the rest of the soft objects are always looking for input. So they're looking for um, interaction from one of the other soft objects. So as you see, I'm actually, I'm, I'm interacting with this one, and you can hear the other ones, perhaps you can hear the other ones, responding to what I'm doing. So in a way, it's like I'm not just interacting with this one, but, but I'm really kind of interacting or communicating with the whole family through this. Right now, the scenario for the interaction has to do with uh, many of these soft objects, where, which are like a family. It's, it's quite legible the way that you can um, hear how they speak to one another, uh, how they re sort of respond, I guess, with the lights. <laughs> This development has been going on with V2 for, um, for all, about a year and a half. And we built our first very small touch pads. We looked to see um, what, kind of, um, what kind of data was actually transmitted. And then could we actually develop um, uh, a recognition of things like uh, the difference between a knock, the difference between a, a caress, the difference between a poke. I think one of the interesting things about technology and embedded technology or ubiquitous technology is that really it's going to end up being everywhere. It's, so this is one, um, at one, just one small exploration of a way that we can think of <clears throat> technology being embedded in things. So <clears throat> it means it can be embedded in bags, the, the poles, you know, everything around us. And what's actually really interesting about um, the workshop is that the workshop is working with this one network, which is these big soft things that are networked together, and with another kind of a network where you actually can wear something and uh, move out in an urban environment or on the street, and we're actually connecting these networks to, to look at some of the ways that um, this kind of future of being able to almost like hack one network into the other, or what can be expressed from one network into the other. And I think that there's so many um, possibilities that this workshop is actually just about exploring how one of those possibilities might come to play. And then people like artists and designers or just anybody on the street is able to use the, the potential of the technology to, um, to, to make comments, to, um, to express, to, to create.